All right, Throd Squad, so today is gonna be, well, tonight is going to be the night that I put this bike back together. And I know you guys don't wanna see me do everything, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna time lapse the whole entire process of me throwing this together. And so that way you guys can see the final result. So let's go. So as you guys can see with the bike, I have gotten all the plastics on. I've gotten the tank mounted to where it's secure. I have both sides of the shrouds installed, number plates, air box. Everything looks good. I just need to swap out and put the new air filter in. I need to install the chain on here. And uh, the rear brakes work, front brakes work. Uh, everything on this bike is pretty much almost there. I got the clutch cable installed. I gotta put the new levers on um, for the front brake and the clutch lever. I also have to redo the seat. So I'm gonna redo this seat real fast. And then that way I can get the seat mounted on here correctly. I do have to put the last little bits from the old previous gas tank on here. I am actually missing this piece right here that goes onto the gas tank. So I'm not exactly sure where it went. So I'm gonna have to hunt that down and find it, but I'm 90% sure I have it laying around somewhere. If you guys could tell, my work area has been a mess, working on so many different projects. So let me get the seat cover put on and we'll get it installed. I'll time lapse you guys for that, let's go. All right, so the new seat finally put on. Okay, I've gotten pretty good at doing seat covers. Like, look at that. That just actually looks good. No wrinkles in the middle on like a CR125, if any of you guys remember that. But look at this thing. It's starting to look like a dirt bike. Now all I gotta do is swap out the levers, put the grips on, get the chain on, get this thing dropped down to the ground, and should be pretty much done. I do have to wait for one bolt to come in the mail, which goes through here, which connects the linkage to right here. I have this bolt, I just don't have this bolt right here. So that's the only part I'm waiting on for this bike to be 100% complete. Um, I do have to put fluids in it and all that good stuff, but for now, it looks like a dirt bike. So let's get those grips on. All right, so rolled the bike out here. First time on the other stand and about to swap out the grips and then swap out the levers. Here are the levers that I got for it. They are uh, some foldable levers. They look good. I think it's gonna go along with the blue that's on the bike. I put very subtle hints of blue on here as like the third accent color. Um, that was by design. 
So I wanted, I really wanted the motor to pop as much as possible and you guys can definitely tell that thing pops. So what I'm gonna do, you guys all know the deal if you guys have been watching the channel, some spray, hairspray in the grips, toss these babies right on. Also, I didn't even notice it, but it's got an uh, aluminum throttle. So that's pretty sweet. Everything works properly. Don't worry, there's no gas in the gas tank yet. So it, it's nice. This thing is going together so nice. This thing's sweet. I did put the key and card back so, on it. Let's get these grips on. And just like that, the new levers are on. Got foldable levers right here. Front brake works, clutch works. This thing is one sick bike right here. So, in my opinion, it's all finished. The only thing I have to do is wait on one more bolt to get here in the mail to put up through here and the chain on and add some fluids in it and this bike is done but i just want to let you guys all know that i appreciate everyone who's been watching the videos I appreciate everyone that's been supporting this channel and just hitting the thumbs up button because that helps out so much you guys can tell my hands are extremely dirty from messing with the grease on the bolts and everything but look at this like i mean i went above and beyond with stuff i didn't show on camera like putting some lube in here and greasing up the fitting so that way the clutch is like super easy to pull you can just pull with one finger but i just wanted everything on this bike to be legit and 100 percent just everything on here is just so smooth and just so nice i cannot wait to get the chain on here get it all set up and get this bike ready for whoever is going to get it next um i don't think i'm going to keep it and the only reasons why i'm not going to keep it is because I actually want someone else to enjoy this bike. I want someone else to be able to get this nice fresh build. I'm gonna probably start it up and like ride it up and down the street just so I could test it out. But I'm not gonna go take it on the dirt and get it all dirty because whoever is gonna buy this bike is gonna love this bike. And I am gonna sell this bike and I'm gonna explain why I'm gonna sell this bike. Um, for anyone who wanted to know why I was gonna sell this bike, um, well, first of all, it's, it's exactly how I'd want it to look and be but it's not the exact bike that I personally want. This is one, this is definitely my, my dream bike, but it's not ideal for the type of riding that I want to do. I know other people do the type of riding that I do with this, but I want something a little bit different, but this is green sticker, which is perfect. So you can ride it all year long, anywhere you go. Uh, but this whole entire kit, is just so sick. I mean, everything on this bike is just brand new awesome i do have to swap this out for the one that i do have um that mounts up um i think it mounts up here on the back side of the exhaust um so it tucks away it's like a it's like a it's a cool little mod just hides it away but everything else here looks so awesome i'm just so grateful that i had the opportunity to build this bike um but i do want to keep doing more builds keep doing more reviews keep doing more cool stuff for everyone so make sure you hit that like button Make sure that you comment down below and tell me what you think about it. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, but here it is. I also forgot to mention that I haven't thrown the exhaust back on here yet. And I haven't thrown the exhaust back on here yet for one reason. And that is because I am in the process of cleaning it all up and making it look nice because I don't want to put something that doesn't look nice on a bike that looks brand new. Um, this whole entire bike definitely took me about 100 hours. So remember, dream big, stay happy, and I'll see you guys next time.